Point Street K-Force provides a high level of flexibility in making corrections to a score sheet. In the top of the sixth inning, we have no outs and a runner on first base. The fourth pitch is fouled down the right field line and I see the runners at first and second take off. But wait, I only have a runner at first. I asked the announcer sitting next to me how the second runner reached base, and he said number two Mary was hit by the first pitch. Looking at the score sheet, I didn't miss much. I could undo the four pitches I scored. Instead, I will touch and hold the at-bat and select cut. Touch the at-bat for Janessa, then batter up. I record the hit by pitch for Mary, then return to the score sheet and paste the partial at bat. Now I'm ready to return to scoring where I left off. This next example involves making a correction to an inning in the middle of the game after additional innings have already been scored. Looking at the score sheet, the first batter of the inning was put out trying to advance to third for the second out of the inning. In reality, it was the batter trying to advance to second who was put out on the fielder's choice for out number two. I cut the strikeout. We'll paste it back later. And I clear the at-bat with the fielder's choice, remembering the pitches and the hit location. Now I need to edit Janessa's at-bat and remove the out. I do this by touching the out circle until it's back to its default shade. Then on Mary's at-bat, I touch second base to have her backtrack to first. I'm ready to score the at-bat. I enter the first pitch, then select FC, runner at first base put out, and an out comment of 6 for the unassisted put out by the shortstop. This also advances Janessa to third base. Finally, I need to paste the strikeout back. As complicated as this seems, no other scoring system allows you to make post-game edits with this level of flexibility and ease. Hopefully you won't need it, but in case you do, K-Force has your back.